Hello to all of you. Now we are going to discuss today data management in R. That is how to fit the data in R. So basically there are some methods by which you can input the data into R. We will see the first method that is input, uh, inputting the data in R through scripts. Now whenever you write any script that is we start with the first line id less than sign is used dash c c is for combine so i'll say combine one two three four five six seven when i click here i can run this script by pressing this run or pressing the control enter so i'll say run now i am entering weight of this first respondent is 20 of second respondent is 27 of third respondent it is 24 and i'm creating another vector that is weight then what now I will use gender. Again, C is necessary. Make sure that whenever you are using the text file or rather a text variable, it is to be in the inverted commas. The number of entries that is here, seven entries are there. Make sure that there are seven entries here and similarly seven entries here. So I'll run this gender, then smoking, tumor. Now I want to create the data frame on the basis of all these variables. So I'll say create the data on the basis of ID. Make sure that whatever nomenclature which you are using, it should match with the nomenclature which is here, right? Weight, weight, gender, gender, smoking, smoking, and tumor. Data dot frame. The command is data dot frame for creating the data frame. Run, run. So this is the one of the method of inputting the data into R. The another method is that I'll directly go into Excel. <clears throat> I'll just enter the data here and I'll open the clipboard. Clear all. And I'll say copy. Once this is done, I will again go back on our script and I'll write down one command data is equal to read dot delimiter delim clipboard I will run it now I'll run the command data and I'll get the data file so this is the another method to bring the data from clipboard into R let us see the third method I'll again go on the same file I'll close this and now I'll save, uh, save this Excel file save as browse and I'll save it in D drive and I'll say this is a demo save now I'll go in R and import the data set now you can see what type of file you can import in R CSV file Excel file SPSS file SAS file and Stata file so R is compatible to all these platforms so from Excel I'll go in browse D drive and demo click open here I am having the option of selecting the rows which from which seat I want to bring the data how much range how much data range I want I can select from here I'll just press it import you can see now the data is there in the R script but you will have to activate the data so for that purpose what you will do I'll go in untitled again and I'll say attach demo activated now run demo and the data is here now there are some uh, you can say some packages which you can use for uh, importing different types of uh, import ta different types of files and one of the packages heaven so go in tools install heaven and click on install once this is done any package if you want to activate you will write down library heaven now once it is ready you can see what type of files just write down read underscore so this many types of file it can read so that is sas spss stata xls and it can write also that is it can import uh, sorry export also on this many types of files you can also save your work from session that is set a working directory 
you can set your working directory you can specify the location where you want to save your work so thank you all of you this was all about data management you can find the r codes which i am going to discuss in my series in my book which is available on amazon.in as well as amazon.com data analysis using r by dr tawal mehta thank you kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter